that, I would like to call the 491st joint meeting of the Santa, Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy and the Santa Monica Mountains Advisory Committee to order. As the first order of business, we will be swearing in Peter Quartz uh, to the advisory committee uh, representing the city of Calabasas. Joe, would you please do the honors? Okay, thank you. We'll continue on. We will now conduct our election of officers for the conservancy. Do we have a nomination for chairperson? Chairman? Yes. Um, hi, uh, uh, Miguel Luna. Um, I would like to move uh, to nominate uh, tribal president of the Fernandeño Tatavian Band of Mission Indians, Rudy Ortega Jr. as the first Native American chair in the history of the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy. Uh, before this vote gets second, let me add uh, that this vote is not only for the tribal president Ortega Jr., that this vote honors his father, Chief Little Bear, his mother, the council of elders and the lineages that they represent that comprises the Fernandeño Tatavian Band of Mission Indians. And as important also, uh, his children and the future of the tribe. Uh, this, all, this vote would also speak to the healing that this agency enters into um, moving forward. So with that, I ask for a second and then I vote. This is even, yes, yes absolutely. This is, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, Miguel, you said that so I can add to this. I second the nomination. Thank you. Do we have any other nomination for chairperson of the conservancy? Um, hearing none, James, please take the roll call of vote. Mr. Szymanski? You know, James, I can't, I still can't vote because of that issue, but um, were that not an issue, I would definitely vote yes. And I'm really tempted to vote even though I'm not supposed to. <laughs> but um, sorry about that. Great to see everyone. Mr. Luna? Absolutely, yes. Ms. Pavley? <clears throat> yes. Ms. Martin? Aye. Ms. Harris? Yes. Ms. Munoz? Yes. Ms. Traveris? Yes. Mr. Ortega? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it's an honor to serve as the chairperson of the Conservancy. As Mr. Luna mentioned, it uh, brings pride to myself, and my family, and the generation that represents the land that is so much to be preserved by this conservancy. So it's a great honor for me to be serving as the chair. Um, with that now, <clears throat> next, we'd like to have the nomination for the vice chairperson. Do I hear any nominations? Yes, I'd like to nominate uh, Steve Edis for vice chair. Is there a second? I would second that, yes. Great. Any other nomination for vice chairperson of the conservancy? Hearing none, James, please take the roll call vote. Mr. Szymanski. Steve, you have my not vote for this. <laughs> for sure. Thank you, David. <laughs> Mr. Luna. Absolutely, yes. Ms. Pavley. Yes. Ms. Martin. Yes, indeed. Ms. Harrod. Yes. Ms. Munoz. Yes. Mr. Ortega. Yes. Mr. Barris? Yes, thank you. Congratulations. I have a question. It's been a while since we've had two men in the leadership position. Joe, when was the last <laughs> time this has happened? Uh, it's been a long time. Okay, well, I uh, wish... Maybe we ought to have a quota system. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. No, I, I'm very proud of who we elected, but <laughs> I don't remember having... Uh, both the chair and the vice chair being um, um, both male. So um, so that that's going to enter some interesting dynamics. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll survive even that uh, calamity. <laughs> <laughs> they've both been vice chairs. I think they, they understand how to run a meeting, and I appreciate both of them. 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, in my week, we can always fix it next year. <laughs> oh no, I'm happy with what we believe. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. okay. It was always important to have representation and, and diversity at the at the forefront of our conversations. Yeah. Most definitely. So with that, we can move on to the election of the advisory committee and it oversees the chair of the advisory committee. Well, it's my pleasure to put a nomination in the name of Elise Buckley Weber as chairperson. Wendy Rosen will second that. Thank you. Uh, I'll second. This is Corridori. I'll second that nomination. You're a third. <laughs> Shall we go ahead with the roll call vote? Are any other nominations for chairperson of the advisory committee? No. We have to ask if there are other nominees. If no further nominees, I move that um, nominations be closed for chair of the advisory committee. Okay, Mr. Ahern. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cacciati. Yes. Mr. Corridori. Yes. Mr. Dennert. Yes. Mr. Ansfeld. Yes. Ms. James. Yes. Mr. Kishbaugh. Mr. Kraut. Yes. Mr. Lang. Yes. Ms. Nelson? Yes. Ms. Rosen? Yes. Mr. Ross? Yes. Ms. Sell? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Ms. Buckley Weber? Yes. Congratulations. James, Ali Acker, uh, yes, as well. Thank you. Thank you all. It's quite an honor. Um, nominations for vice chairperson of the advisory committee? Yes, I would like to nominate Mr. Sean Anderson for that position. George Lang seconds. Any other nominations for the vice chair position for the advisory committee? Okay, I will take a roll call vote. Ms. Acker? Big yes. Mr. Ahern? Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Cacciati? Yes. Mr. Corridori? Yes. Mr. Denner? Yes. Ms. Dransfeld? Yes. Ms. James? Yes. Mr. Kishbaugh? Mr. Kraut? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Ms. Nelson? Yes. Ms. Rosen? Yes. Mr. Ross? Yes. Ms. Sell? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Ms. Buckley Weber? Yes. Congratulations, Sean. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Okay. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, with that, we will now move on to reports. Uh, the first report is the chairperson's. Um, um, being the first time on the seat of the chair, I have no reports uh, this evening. Uh, 